precision is the key to success in proton treatment. It is maintained through the entire process of proton therapy. That precision begins with careful planning and preparation. Prior to treatment, a three-dimensional reconstruction of the tumor is created using computerized radiographic technology, such as computed tomography, usually called CT scans. Other forms of scanning technology, such as MRI and PET, may also be used in treatment planning. Next, the members of the treatment team develop a patient-specific treatment plan using computers to outline a series of proton beams entering at various angles. From these, they calculate the radiation dose being given to the tumor and the normal tissues. Finally, the physician reviews and approves the treatment plan. That information is then transferred electronically to a series of automatic machines that create patient-specific devices required by the plan. For example, each patient has an aperture that is designed to form and shape the beam to the exact dimensions of the patient's tumor. By shaping the beam to match the tumor, less damage is done to healthy surrounding tissue. From beginning to end, each patient's treatment is unlike any other. Proton therapy begins by moving the patient into the precise position indicated in the treatment plan. The proton beam is then directed at the patient's tumor, and protons are released in a series of pulses that can't be seen or felt. After the prescribed radiation dose has been delivered, the computer shuts off the beam. The actual delivery of radiation lasts only a few minutes. The entire session, from beginning to end, usually lasts no more than 30 minutes. The patient can immediately return to normal daily activity. Proton treatment was so easy because I did it during lunch. It took 30 to 45 minutes. I went back to work and it was all done. You know, two hours later I've forgotten that I had a doctor's appointment or I had had proton treatment. It was quick, comfortable. I came in from work, had my treatment done, and was back at work within about 30 minutes. It's easy. Uh, you don't feel anything, uh, neither during nor before nor after the, uh, the treatment, and you know, I have no side effects. Most patients may return for treatment five days a week for several weeks. The reason for this is that healthy cells and cancerous cells respond very differently to radiation. Healthy cells recover better in between doses, so smaller doses are given over a longer period to allow normal cells to recover, while the cumulative effect of the radiation kills the cancer cells.